Good morning and hello children. I am Teacher Glyta and welcome to your English Wine class. Please stand up for our opening prayer. You may now take your seat. Again, good morning class. How are you doing today? Oh, that's great that you're doing great today. Now, let me check your attendance first. Very good, perfect attendance. Before we start our discussion for this morning, who can recall what was our last topic? Yesterday we had Lucas. The structure of each sentence as to Anna. Simple subject and simple predicate. Money? Simple subject and compound predicate. Pet, compound subject and compound predicate. Okay, that's great class. Now, we will have an activity first about our last topic. Beside this sentence, put the appropriate flashcards. With SS, stand for simple subject and compound predicate. CS and SP is compound subject and simple predicate. Compound subject and compound predicate is for CS and CP. Now, birds and animals help propagate plants. Where is our compound subject? Yes, it's birds and animals. Where is our simple predicate? Help propagate plants. Yes, you were correct, class. Now, second, Ariel cleaned the cage and fed his pet. What is the answer? Simple subject and compound predicate. Ariel is our simple subject and cleaned the cage and fed his pet is our compound predicate. The third one. Fruits and vegetables are good source of vitamins and minerals. What is the answer? Compound predicate and compound subject. What is our compound subject? Yes, it's fruits and vegetables. Where is our compound predicate? Good source of vitamins and minerals. You're good. You're doing great class. You are awesome. Now, let's move on to our next topic. Look at this picture class. Who are they? Yes, they are our heroes. Watch this video class. Mikey, aren't Filipinos practically Spanish? Excuse me? Well, you have a Spanish last name. Uh, oh yes, Spanish royalty. Bustos, Duke of Spain. <laughs> uh, I mean, no prank. Filipinos are not a kind of Spanish. Ow. In fact, check out our Philippine heroes. I'm Lapu Lapu, machete na guapo. Bold and a king, so they call me Datu. Who is that I see talking to our fellow tribesmen? Ferdinand Magellan and his men from Spain. Mm. Teaching their religion, Catholic, Roman. I'm now like a Spanish. No, you're again. Uh -huh. That's the way it's war on Ferdinand's men. Let's yeah. kill him with our weapons here in Mach 10. Jose brought Cacho Rizal, Mercado y Alonso Real on that. Jose Rizal, almost four centuries still ruled by the Spanish. We're executing you. Cause I'm anticonial. You're no limit, Tangere. Filipo Sterismo, Pomes Cast Rebellion against Spain Oops, did I start the Spanish Revolution? Ready? Consumatum est Aim! We are the revolution, KKK Rizal, yeah. your death won't go in vain I'm Andres Bonifacio, Republic Tagalo President and a great plebeian Co-founder and supremo of the Katipunan The father of the Philippine Revolution yeah. A secret society of Filipino militants Hopes for the Philippines, free from Spain I'm Marcela Aconcillo Simstens I'm in Hong Kong to escape the stress Then General Emilio Aguinaldo requested To sew a flag that best represented The Philippines look, oh, isn't it, Bente? A sun, three stars, there's blue and red In accordance to General 
Aguinaldo's design I'm mother of the Philippine flag Okay Apoyo na rin mga Bini First Prime Minister of the Philippines Hooray, we're free Brains of the revolution Now working government Despite losing my legs to polio disease I'm an American We'll show you burgers Get rid of siestas and re-educate Talk to the hand, what next? Let me guess, you wanna make Philippines a U.S. state? General Luna, born in Manila Even if I am an Ilocano Filipino general, fought in the Philippine-American war Let me intro you to the Black Guard Luna sharpshooters, the Luna defense line They're like wall with military science I train these men to catch Americans like Pokemon Go So you see, Frank, we Filipinos are not Spanish We're not like Americans we're not like anybody. We are our own people, independent and free. We have heroes to thank for that. And we cannot forget how we became the Philippines. Oh, that's kind of cool, Mikey. And don't ever forget it. Who is your favorite Filipino hero? Did you enjoy it? Oh, that's great. So here's my question. Among these heroes, who is best for you? Anna, why did you choose Dr. Rosarito? Tell what you know about his heroism using a simple sentence. Very good class. Another? Remember this. Our heroes gave their lives for our country. We must return it back to them by remembering their great words. Okay? Today, you will learn how to use compound sentence to show cause and effect. But before we tackle about the life of Dr. Sarisal, we will have some examples first to have better understanding in our topic. Are you ready, class? Wait, look at this picture. What happened to the girl? You're right, the girl stumbled. Why do you think it happened? You are correct because she stepped on her shoelace. Now, let's join these two sentences together and make them one. But first, we need words that would help us to join these two sentences. Hmm. Oh, let's use the word for. The girl stumbled for she stepped on her shoelace. Now, let's study the sentence. What happened to the girl? The girl stumbled. This part of the sentence shows the effect of or the result of something. Why did she stumble? Because she stepped on her shoelace. This part of the sentence is the cause or the reason why something happened. What word was added in between the two clauses? Yes, it's for. It is placed there to connect two independent clauses, making them one sentence. Now, look at that. We have successfully made a single sentence out of the two simple sentences or independent clauses. Do you know that we have just created a compound sentence? Yes. This is an example of a compound sentence. But what exactly is a compound sentence? A compound sentence is made up of two simple sentences connected by a coordinating conjunction. These coordinating conjunctions are also known as fun boys. Fun boys stand for for and nor, but, yet, so. Now, let's see how these coordinating conjunctions are used. But before that, we will talk about the life of Dr. Jose Rizal in the Vita. Do you know Dr. Jose Rizal? That's great, kid. He is our national hero. So, can anyone volunteer to read the paragraph that flashed on the TV? Okay, Anna. Thank you, Anna. Another? Okay, Monique. Thank you, Anna and Monique. Did you know that Jose Rizal was also a teacher in the Pitan? Yes, he is. 
him and the town people built a school for young boys and girls who helped in the house and farm work. Rizal taught them for free and he provided them clothes and food. That's how great our national hero. Going back to the coordinating conjunction, we will use some examples from what you read about Dr. Jose Rizal. Are you ready class? Okay class, let's start with four. Four means the same as because. It is used to show cause and effect. For example, Rizal was exiled to the pitan for they accused him of being a rebel. Next is N. N is used to add one thing to another. Example, the pitan was a poor village from the town and many people there are sick. Check third, nor, it, nor is used to present an alternative negative idea to already stated negative idea. Example, he didn't study last night, nor did he read his book. But means the same as yet. They both shows contrast. Example, computer games are fun, but it is addictive. Second, computer games are fun, yet it is addictive. Or present an alternative or a choice. Example, Rizal had to go in the pitan or he would be arrested in jail. Last is so. So indicates effect, result, or consequence. This particular con coordinating conjunction is usually used to express cause and effect along with and for. Example, the pitan did not have a real doctor. They only had pharmacy clerk. So, Rizal spent most of his day curing sick people for free using a herbal medicine. Did you get it, class? Now, let's look closely at this example. Rizal exiled to the pitan for they accused him of being a rebel. What is the cause? Anna. They accused him of being a rebel. What is the effect? Louis. Very good. Rizal exiled to the pitan. What is the coordinating conjunction that used? Monique. Yes, it's four. They are joined together by a coordinating conjunction. Now, what is written right before the word for? June? Yes, a comma. In writing a compound sentence, put a comma after the last word of the first clause. Right before the coordinating conjunction. Remember that class? Another example. The pitan did not have a real doctor. They only had a pharmacy clerk. So, Rizal spent most of his day curing sick people for free using a herbal medicine. What is the cause? Uh, another hand. Jen? The pitan did not have a real doctor. They only had a pharmacy clerk. Awesome. Uh, what is the effect? Louisa? Rizal spent most of his day curing sick people for free using a herbal medicine. Thank you, Louisa. Last question. What coordinating conjunction joining them together? All of you. You're right. It's so. Did you notice that a comma is written right after the last word of the first clause? Wow, you are learning fast. Now, let's practice what we learned today. But first, remember this. To join two simple sentences together, 
use a conjunction. When using a coordinating conjunction, do not forget to put a comma after the last word of the first clause. Are you now ready for our activity? Excellent! Here's what you're going to do. Make a compound sentence that shows cause and effect relationship by combining two sentences into one. Use a conjunction and, for, and so to fill in the blanks. I will give you five minutes to answer all the five items. Your timer starts now. Okay, kids, time to check your work. First question. I can get inside my house long I lost my house key. What is the answer? Look for? Yes, it is correct. I can get inside my house for? I lost my house key. Second. The typhoon brought heavy rains for days. Blank. The city was flooded. What is the answer? Monique? So? Yes, it is correct. The typhoon brought heavy rains for days. So, the city was flooded. Third question. She bakes delicious cakes. Blank. They are selling like hot cakes. What is the answer? Pen? And? Yes, it is correct. She baked delicious cakes and they are selling like hot cakes. Four question. Kevin ate three cups of rice. Plus, he was starving. What is the answer, Anna? Four? Yes, it is correct. Kevin ate three cups of Price for he was starving. So let's check the last item. Fifth question. I had forgot to bring my lunch. Blank. I had to buy food in the cafeteria. What is the answer? Louisa? So? Yes, it is correct. I forgot to bring my lunch. So I had to buy food in the cafeteria. You got it right? Awesome! For your assignment, look for the picture of our modern day heroes. Do you know who is our modern heroes? Yes, they are our frontliners. As the country commemorates the National Heroes Day, August 31, 2020, the government recognized the frontliners against the coronavirus disease 2019 as modern day heroes. As we continue our fight against COVID-19, let's remember our modern day heroes, our frontliners who constantly put their lives at risk for our safety and protection. For the past nine months, our doctors, nurses, military, police personnel, and civil servants have been at the forefront of our nation's battle against the deadly disease. So, now, for your assignment, look for the pictures of our modern-day heroes. Paste it in your notebook and write five sentences about his or her heroism using a compound sentence. Get it? Congratulations, kids! You have learned on how to use compound sentence to show cause and effect. Once again, I am Teacher Kwaisa saying learning English is fun. See you on our next English class. Goodbye, kids! Stay safe and God bless you.